Hey, what's going on everyone? It's David Palmer, the Leo King. And I've titled this video, I'm okay, but I'm not okay. And a lot of people are going to wonder what this video is about. This video is about me opening up about where I've been. And hopefully it'll help others. But I have a lot to say when it comes to helping people understand that I've gone through quite a lot in my life and I'm healing right now in my life. And to be authentic as I can about that, that the delivery in which that I've been giving a lot of my work in public, and it's also been in my personal life where I've come to pretty much be alone in my life. The death of my father on September 11th was definitely the point that brought me to a big gift that he gave me on his passing, which was a big conscious realization and awareness about where my ship was headed in my life and how I started getting off course when it came to my delivery the character in which I do astrology. I want to say that I've always, since the beginning of doing this work, as I've always come from this most beautiful, loving, and spiritual space, and that has never left. But in my life, I battle my ego. I battle also not knowing in my personal life how to deal with emotion well. Uh, accept support well. And I've gone through a lot of events that were all domino events that led to this last domino that fell when my, my father passed that finally brought me to this place. This video is to help people with any questions they might have about me, what they've seen. There's a lot of conspiracy theories out there that, you know, I'm not okay or I've lost it. I'm not okay in the sense that I've been going through a lot and I'm healing, but I'm okay when it comes to, you don't need to worry about me. I'm not psycho or thinking of leaving this planet or anything like that. I have a lot that for you, the viewer, I think it's important to know when it comes to that I've reached a place in my life where it's been a long road to get here for many that have stayed with me throughout this course of the last decade plus. Um, and I've, I finally have come to terms with needing to heal and make changes in my life. Since I'm an astrologer, having the nodal return for me was the week of September 11th when my father did die that week and I was born with the North Node in the 10th house and I was born with the South Node in Sag conjunct Uranus and the North Node conjunct Chiron and Gemini. And so I've been battling out the disruptive nature that I am with that South Node in Sag with Uranus and then that North Node in Gemini with Chiron there in the 10th. There's a part of me that has acted out due to not only the emotional things that I've gone through, which I don't know how to deal with well, I'll be honest. My personal life stuff has been very intense and I'm somebody to put out the image that I can handle anything, but I'm a human being. I've liked to use things like I'm an exalted being. I got Sun and Leo and I got the Moon and Taurus. Like I got Mars and Scorpio. I, yeah, I'm, I can handle it. And I can in many ways, but some of that's a show when it comes to the reality is that since my father's death and even prior to that, which people have sensed for years, I lost my grandmother last year, who I was very close with. Uh, 
she died at 94 in my oma and I went through a divorce in 2019 and so you know these last three years for me have been very difficult with the amount that I've gone through that I've also been going through this feeling that I've never been fully recognized which is a total lie within myself or part of my Chiron playing out because I've been very blessed with <laughs> as I'm sitting in my own TV studio and my own network um, that I've used that Uranus energy that disruptive energy to in many ways deal with my wounds and um, there's a part of me that likes that disruptive energy but it's caused me a lot of pain in my own life and while I've gone through the grieving process with my dad, which continues, it's taught me a lot about, and my dad's given me the greatest gift to awaken to so much of, of what needed healing in my life. I want to make my father proud, even he might not be here with us in this world, but he's with me forever. And I'm named after him. His middle name, or my middle name is Lawrence, which is his first name, and I'm named after his father. David Palmer, which is my first name, and I held high regard for my grandfather and my father. And now that I'm the eldest in the family, you know, it's a that's a that's a role in itself that I've had to come to terms with. And let's just say I've been the most disruptive in my family line. Hmm. That might not be all true, but there's been a lot of that disruptive element uh, from the time of leaving King James and coming on the fortune on my Palmer side um, right after the Mayflower. And then I have Isaac Allerton as one of my great grandfathers from my Nana, my dad's mother. Um, and that's pretty disruptive itself uh, or fighting for the revolutionary war, like both sides of my family have done or, being Quakers, which are not disruptful. Um, I've had to learn that, that this moment in my life is about letting people know that I have got some deep healing going on and that I've had to come to terms with uh, how do I can maintain the fun and the exciting and inspirational astrology that I do without losing people because I've lost too many people, especially Social media is one thing and I can live with that, but I've lost too many good people in my life. I've lost too many people for my own actions. I'm a difficult person. I'm not an easy person to uh, deal with when it comes to emotion. I can be hard to read emotionally. I can sit and process whether I do something emotionally or not. I can definitely be stubborn and um, I've, I've dealt with a lot of not feeling abandoned but more like betrayal in my life which most of that's also probably due to the fact of how I've acted in my life so it's not really betrayal which is just trust issues and a lot of my wounds because I'm talking to you, the public, have come from, and especially I think, you know, there's an ego part of it, like never really being recognized by the community, which again, this is all stupid stuff. Because I've been so blessed, been so blessed to be recognized in many different areas. But I think it's when it comes to like, in the astrology community, it's like I was always the, oh, he's just a show. Well, I put on a good show for them all the time. Or in the DJ community, because especially we're dealing with this now in the world we're in, because I have chosen not to take what others are taking. I'm choosing to choose what I want to do in my life, which is my own business. But because I have been an astrologer that has been a big predictive astrologer for these times of what would come 
people are upset with me about my predictions in the election. People are upset with me about my predictions about what was 2020 and now 2021, going back from 2017. Some of them have been very harsh predictions that I've definitely felt wounded from those parts of myself. And it's hard to watch people start stop watching and, and start leaving, not only in your public life, but mainly in your personal life. And I've watched it both simultaneously. And I've had to come to a very hard truth in my life about how I act, how I have to step into this role now that my family has line has left me for almost a thousand years since Knight Templar times to now that there's a, there's a code of conduct that I have to um, embody now with still finding that happy balance of maintaining the people that or the person that people love and, and look at the stuff that some people might not like or might be triggered from, but also holding still the line of truth. And, and, and I'm somebody as a spiritual channel and a spiritual network and a spiritual personality, I believe truly still in liberty and, and freedom and justice to be the pinnacle to to the energy of God. And I am, um, I'm having to go through this healing process in my life. And to be honest with everybody out, out there that you saw a man over these last three years who was very wounded. My divorce hurt me very, very bad. It's been, uh, it's, it's, it's been very difficult to recover from that. It's been very difficult to recover from my father's death, my grandmother's death. It's been very difficult to recover from, you know, because I haven't got a shot. The DJ community, most of them won't talk to me. Same thing in the astrology community. And these are all my own actions. These are all my own choices. Now, my grandmother and my father, those aren't my choices. Those are God's choices. And I don't have any negative element to it with God or with anybody. But... Both of them have taught me quite a lot about the other parts that are on me and the choices I make and the disruption that I've caused and the friends that have left my life, the lovers that have left my life and the people that really want to support me that don't feel like supporting me anymore because of the way that I am. And I have to apologize to all those people and apologize to you, the viewer, if I've, or for those that used to support me and don't support me anymore. I'm sure it was hard sending a video. Like, I love this guy. This guy's giving all this great astrology and then watching, you know, my energy turn and like, what did you just send me? I'm not here to say that my core values or the man that a lot of people love that still support me and who I am is going away. But I've, I've come to a, a cross in the road where I have to own a better version of myself. I have to put out a better version of myself to the world. And I've been denying myself of that. I've been hiding in my pain. I've been hiding in my my fear of making a change. I, I had a lot of great support to get here and then a lot of that support left with all good reasons. And, and there's a fear that I'm not gonna be able to move on and continue to keep going that I have to get over. I've lost a lot of my confidence in who I am. And I guess that's my great challenge right now in my life is learning how to find that confidence still and build bridges, not burn bridges. And so I wanted to put this video out there to let you all know what I'm going through. And of course, astrologically, I mean, I'm going through a lot, but especially Jupiter and Saturn opposite my son, 
Mars, Saturn opposite my sun. And now we have Mars, Venus that will oppose my sun. And then we're going to have a Pluto oppose my sun. So all within the two year cycle and I'm only one year into it and uh, I'm ready, I'm getting ready for Pluto here soon, but that's all oppositions. And I, and I feel this big opposition in my life. I'm not easy and I apologize and I have so many in my personal life that I wish I could just let those people know that I always came from the best pace, space in my heart. And I let this journey and the weight of this and my own pain and my own uh, avoidance of how to deal with my emotions get the best of me. And I apologize to you all. And I apologize to anybody um, that I've hurt or that I've disappointed that watches me. Um, as I, I need help in my life with just support in my life. And I have to build that support back. And, and a lot of it's with the healing that I'm doing within myself. And so I'm going to be focusing my work on high vibe and it's a safe space for me right now to heal and do my astrology work. And until I understand what exactly to put out there correctly, I still want to be the funny guy and I still want to be the, the inspirational and the definitely there's that comedic wild side that won't ever go away, but there's some parts of myself that have to make a change as I am. I'm becoming older and just the pain and the healing that's going on of just being 37 divorced, no kids and with a emotional block in my life of how to even deal with those, that while I have to still be a CEO, which I need to start acting like a CEO more. There's a lot of things that I'm changing and a lot of things that I'm healing right now. And I just wanted to be authentic with everybody out there. And for those that left and whether it's my personal life or whether it's in my public life to know that I'm okay, but I'm, I'm dealing with healing from it. And I've reached that place in my life where, and I have to thank my father who supported me more than anybody in my life. And is continuing to support me in heaven that he's helped me see this. And, um, I want to make him proud and I want to make my family line proud, but I also mainly just want to make God proud. And I want to make those who follow me just, just feel better about uh, the information that they get, that uh, they, they know maybe why they've seen changes in me or different deliveries and so forth. And what I'm going through right now, and as I learn to take more support, because I'm going to need more support to run this company, to run the big ideas I have in life. And I have to work on the issues within myself in order to make that work. And, um, and to also even be able to accept the massive support I get publicly, which obviously if I've lost support in my personal life and in my public life, I've reached a place where I have to do a change. And um, I don't know exactly what that looks like yet, but I'm in that process and I'm willing to accept it, see it and go through it. I appreciate all of you, whether you used to support me and you don't, I thank you because you're part of this still and helping me in my journey. And I hope I helped you in your journey. And I hope that maybe one day I can continue doing that. And for those that have supported me through it all, you have all been part of this as well and holding so much great space and love for me. And I thank you so much. I'm wishing you the best right now. And whatever does come out more publicly on YouTube and stuff, it's all being reworked right now with my healing. And as I'm going through my healing on high vibe, it's, it's, it's where I do the work. And I hope just people know for, for clarity's sake and to squash any rumors out there, or squash any conspiracies about me that I've always been connected to the divine and never lost that connection. I have not 
fallen back into drugs or alcohol. I have been sober for six years of alcohol. I have not smoked weed or done any of those drugs for almost 10 years now. It's going to come up 10 years uh, next year, like 2022. So I'm not, not, not in any of those places. I've just been dealing with my own issues and my own shit that has affected people publicly and in my personal life. And I even went through a car accident and almost died. And uh, that was just last year. I pulled out of the car while I was on fire. So I have a lot that I've had to go through. And my main thing has been for the collective, illuminating the collective consciousness. And in many ways, I have to get back to that and steer the ship before it hits the iceberg. I love you all. I appreciate you uh, for listening to this message. And I appreciate all the support. No matter what support it ever was, it meant the world to me. And it still does. Take care.